be going. Okay, here we have our makeshift nursery um, for the project site and we've planted only a few types of um, trees but they are mainly fast growing so that we can see immediate results and um, you can have a look down if you want. This is pigeon pea. So pigeon pea was planted actually by seed all along the swales anyway but we decided to plant some in pots so we could put them out in other areas um, that weren't going to get so much immediate care like the swales. This is um, moringa, which is also known as the miracle tree. It will grow really, really fast. It can grow up to 18 feet in a year, I'm told. I haven't seen it myself. Every part of this tree is edible, so the leaves are really spicy and delicious, good for salads. The pods you can eat, the seeds you can eat, the roots you can eat, and other things are that the seeds can be ground up to purify water. So this tree is a really good tree to have around, so we've planted a few of, a few of them. Um, this, these guys here are Protolaria, which is another um, tree similar to Pigeon Pea. They both live about five years and they fix nitrogen back into the soil. So they're a fast growing tree, fix nitrogen back into the soil and you can chop them and drop them so they act as a mulch as well. So they're really good trees to have around fruit trees when the fruit trees are young. And um, what else do we have? Um, oh, that's basically it. Here we just planted a few flowers. So this is zinnia. And they're a really fast growing, <coughs> beautiful flower that is a really good cut flower. So basically we're just going to put them around the place to look pretty on the swales, by the houses, by the classrooms, or not classrooms, by the by the courtyards and stuff. So that's the plan basically, just to get a bit of um, a bit of an idea how fast things come up and then we can put them out wherever we choose. Ready? So here we have some mung bean growing on the swale. Uh, we have uh, sprouted mung bean and then thrown it out over a large large um, area of the property. And the mung bean comes up by itself if the, if the place is irrigated. And what it does is it acts as a cover crop, so it's like a living mulch to keep the moisture in the soil. And also it'll fix nitrogen from the air back into the soil, which conditions the soil for the fruit trees that are growing nearby, which are the, which are the species of fruit trees or the plants that we really want to look after. So these plants are helping us look after the fruit trees. Here as well we have um, sweet potato. This is another cover crop, but it's a creeper cover crop and it's more long term than the mung bean. So here's the sweet potato, which we just put in from a cutting, just you know, covered over, cover some soil over that and it's really taken root and that's gonna that's gonna spread out quite rapidly and cover the earth to keep moisture in and can again condition the soil, help to break it up with its roots. Um, all for the purpose of regenerating the soil to support um, support growth. Life, I guess. Yeah. This is sugarcane. Um, we're using it as part of a screen um, between the borders and the staff units and we're using it because it's quite attractive. It's got a beautiful red stalk when it gets up big and it'll get up quite large. Um, sugarcane is what they make sugar out of but the most delicious thing you can do with it is just to cut it when it's a bit bigger, cut the stalk and peel it and chew on it and you just taste this yummy delicious sugary stalk and it's um, it's a fun thing to have around and, and useful in this case too as a screen.